Hi, this is Justice with Tablet Pro. I'm going to show you a couple different ways to select text using the stylus. Now we're not going to start in OneNote, um, but we're going to start in Edge. So let's jump over to Edge. Now uh, this has been very complicated for a long time and there's a couple different settings that you can adjust. So the first thing that I want you to try, set your stylus. You can see my stylus here on the screen or right here. We're going to place it right over the word limited and we're going to press and hold. Now we don't have right click turned on for press and hold. I'm going to show you how to turn that off. I'm going to show you also how to turn off this menu because this can be uh, helpful or can be in the way depending on what tools you're using. So we've selected this by holding the stylus tip on it. Now we're going to tap this right one. We're going to drag, drag, and we can select copy. And now we're going to look at the settings to turn off that menu. So we're in appearance. And then down here we have show mini menu when selecting text. We're going to turn that off. We're going to go back here. Now, if you hold right here, you notice that, that mini menu doesn't come up anymore. I'm using the radio menu from Tablet Pro, so I'm going to copy it this way. All right, we're going to jump over into OneNote now. We're going to tap the stylus on the screen, and we're going to press paste. You can see that we've got some options here. Uh, paste, keep source form, merge formatting, keep text only. We're going to do keep text only. All right, so let's tap right here, and we're going to we're going to tap right here. We're going to press enter. Okay, now you can see here that I can just drag and select text with the stylus. This is not default behavior. So we have to go into File, Options, Advanced. Pen, automatically switch between inking, selecting, typing, and panning. We want this turned off. That will allow you to quickly select text and do various things with it if you want. Okay, so that is the way that you do that inside of OneNote. Uh, let's go over to Notepad. Here you can drag and select. But there's a couple of other things that you can do besides just dragging and selecting because sometimes you want to get part of a word. Getting the whole word's a little tricky. So here, if you tap, double tap, and triple tap all in the same place without moving the cursor in between a different letter. And you have to do it in quick succession. So tap, 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 tap. And that allows you to do a handful of different things here. All right, guys, that's the quick tutorial on how to select text in a number of different programs using the stylus. Uh, the tools I'm using over here, this is the Artist Pad from Tablet Pro. This is the Radio Menu from Tablet Pro. You can find that at tabletpro.com or in the Microsoft Store by searching Tablet Pro Studio. If you're in an application and you're having trouble uh, selecting text, you can always use the full screen mode from Tablet Pro. So you'd select here, full screen mode. That'll turn the entire screen into a trackpad. Then you can select text the same way you would with a trackpad. Just double click and drag over the top of it. Right click and choose copy. Right click is via two finger tap, just like on a trackpad. But if you have a certain application where you have trouble selecting the text with the stylus, but you can do it with the mouse, put that application in the comment section I'll look at that and see if there's a uh, solution, something that works consistently. This is uh, one of the things that I like trying to solve. If you haven't seen my tutorial also on using the handwriting panel, it is a really great video showing you how to do this without it being frustrating or complicated. If you like using your Windows tablet and you want to make the most of it, making your simplest device your most useful device, then please subscribe to this channel. That's something that we focus on greatly here. All right. Have a wonderful day. Stay creative and I will see you in the next video.